Hello, today I want to talk to you about a teacher in the US named Lorena Barber. She is quite famous for her open education forms and um, her videos at the Boston University. Um, yeah, she's currently teaching, I think, in the Washington University. And this is her main site, you could say. <clears throat> LorenaBarber.com. It's um, where you can find all her recent activities about education forms and also the research projects. I think it's quite good as a main site in order to go there and from there you can access the the whole the whole thing. Um, the different sections, different videos, uh, different MOOCs also and you see also the, the Twitter um, linkage there. So I think that's, that's a good site to start. She also has a, a YouTube channel <clears throat> where you can access the videos from her. And then um, there are the activities I want to focus on, namely the 12 steps of um, coding a Navy Stokes solver, which is a fame, uh, it's, it's really a s s well done job in order to make the student understand the basic concept of fluid dynamics in a way where uh, the students is active and not just listening and really don't understanding the course. So I did the 12 steps in about two days. It's it's doable. She also told that at a speech where she had a summer school in which two days were enough for the for the students to learn the basic concepts in order to be able to code a Navi Stokes solver. That's quite impressive, I think. So let me talk of you to you about um, this course. I um, think it's in here. So she uses GitHub um, at a fair amount, and you can get get to the sites all about uh, the main site I told you once before. But um, we'll start um, here in this uh, GitHub tube CFD Python, and then you can click lessons or. Here are the lessons already, and for example, go to step one. And you have this uh, Python notebooks. They can read about all about the equations, and you see the Python code in here. And we will transfer in the following uh, video series those um, equations into a MATLAB coding. So this is not, um, well, this will not be a, a guide to code perfect MATLAB because I'm also fairly a beginner in MATLAB uh, but I want to use it as a discussion base on how to code it better in order to understand the concept behind that and for the main reason to make this 12 steps to Navier Stokes more public because I think it's there's um, there's no better way to learn the fluid dynamics uh, but to code it yourself. So stay tuned for the future videos and I hope to see you back soon.